Hi guys, welcome back to Martin's Vinyl. I'm doing a Fred video for you guys today. I haven't done a Fred video before, but there's a new Fred going out in the vinyl community about people's most listened to albums, their top 10 go-to albums. And uh, I thought this would be a very fun one to participate in. Well, I thought it was going to be fun until I start pulling albums out of my collection. And uh, I realised uh, this is actually a lot harder than I thought. This is, um, yeah, a lot harder than I thought. It's actually got quite difficult after a while. So what I did, I made three different piles. And um, in my first pile, I made my top 10 most favourite albums, records in my personal collection, my top 10 favourite. Not necessarily ones I've listened to countless times, but for me, they're my personal favourite in my collection. My 10 out of 10 masterpiece albums, and I put them to one side. I also made a top 10 um, pile of uh, records which I found in my youth, which I listened to a lot of my friends when I was younger, my teenage years, but not necessarily what I listen to much today. I put them to one side and then that's how I kind of dwindled down my top 10 most listened to albums. So they're kind of differing from my most listened to my favourites was actually quite difficult. For example, um. The ones I got behind me didn't make my top 10. These ones I definitely listened to a lot, but the, even these guys didn't make the top 10. You got Dio, ZZ Top, Tres Hombres, Muddy Waters, Tracy Chapman, uh, Kiss. Me and my wife are massive fans of Kiss. Or she's more of a fan than I am. Listen to that one lots of times, but they, they didn't come close to what my top 10 most listened to albums were. Um, I'm actually going to add another another record to this one because this record is um one that does tie in with my most listened to albums to uh my top 10 favorite albums of all time so i'll be showing my 10 but number 11 will be kind of tying into my top 10 favorite albums of all time so if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe because my next future videos will be my top 10 favorite albums of all time and also my top 10 favourite albums according to my teenage my teenage self. So that would be an interesting one to look at. So like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss that video. All right. Um, but before we start this top 10, I'm going to... These are records that you're definitely going to recognise. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each one. Because these are pretty classic stuff you're going to see. Because they're great albums. I think uh, as record collectors, they're all ways of trying to find the rare obscure albums to add to your collection but when it comes to the classic stuff they are the, the classics for a reason and the ones that definitely most people gravitate towards when they want, want to listen to an album so like i said i won't spend too much time on them all right let's do it first album i'm going to show you is actually a very good example when i was trying to explain the difference between um my favorite albums to my most listened to albums I am a massive ACDC fan. I've seen them. I've bought their ho a whole back catalogue. And I've even got a t-shirt on. But um, the one I'm going to show you isn't my favourite ACDC album. This is my favourite ACDC album, which is Power Age. For me, this is them at their best, at their peak. Uh, but the one I've listened to, I know listen to this one a lot more than that one. And that's Highway to Hell, purely because I've had this uh album forever i've had it uh, in my pre-teens my teens 20s 30s uh midlife crisis this album's always been a uh, part of my life it's i don't think uh there's a time i don't listen to this album is for me this is the best rock and roll album ever this is rock in its purest form uh love this album i've listened to it hundreds thousands of times and i'll probably listen to it a hundred thousand times in the future i love this album Right, the next album I'm going to show you is the first one I grabbed when I was making this list because I knew this one I've listened to countless times and that's Harvest uh, by Neil Young from 1972. Adore this album. Um, when I was first learning how to play the guitar and bass guitar with a friend, we both played along uh, to this album so I know I've listened to it countless times. Um, again, talking about your most listened to and your favourite albums, this one I've definitely listened to, but when I come to make my top 10 favourite albums of all time, 
it is a Neil Young album, but it's not Harvest. So, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. All right. So my next one, I'm going to show you again. You're going to recognise that this one, everyone's probably got this one in their collection, and that's Led Zeppelin 2. I listen to it a lot for a very good reason, because it's awesome. It's amazing. I, um, this is at uh, First UK Press and the Plum label. Actually adore this album. I've, I listen to this one probably the most purely because this is the, one of the first um, Led Zeppelin albums that I got but it's got um, a whole lot of love on it and ramble on some of my favourite songs of Led Zeppelin on this one. So that's why it's in the top 10. Right next album I'm going to show you is so obvious uh, you're probably going to see a lot on this thread because it's incredible album and not only is it an incredible album it's a uh, probably one of the best debut albums ever and that's Boston's first album from 1976 an incredible album an incredible rock guitar album sorry it's such an obvious answer and it's probably one you're going to see a lot on this thread but I've listened to it countless times all right I'm not going to go into much detail because everyone knows this album Right, the next record I'm going to show you is Iggy Pop, A Lust for Life. Uh, incredible album. I've listened to this album a lot. I listened to this album a lot when uh, my wife was pregnant with both our kids. Um, her bump was called The Passenger. It was called Iggy because of The Passenger. Um, but it's got so many of his best songs on here. La uh, Lust for Life, Some Weird Sin, uh, Passenger, uh, Tonight. All great, uh, great songs. Um made with the great David Bowie as well. Incredible stuff. One I can listen to again and again. Really good. Uh, another record I normally throw on my turntable is Credence Clearwater Revival Cosmos Factory from 1970. I'm a big fan of Credence, but I normally gravitate towards this one purely because it's got, it's not a bad track on here. It's got a lot of uh, great tracks on here. The traveling band, looking out my back door, run through the jungle, up around the bend, who stopped the rain, and their cover of "I Heard It Through the Grapevine" is not a bad track on here, and it's it's a great listen. It's an easy listen. It's really good. One I normally gravitate towards. So yeah. My right, next song I'm going to show you is Ten Years After Space and Time," a hugely underappreciated, undervalued band. They should be up there with the likes of uh, Die Straits, Eagles, Fleetwood Mac. Um, when I talk to people that grew up in the 70s uh, who are very familiar with these other bands, they never heard of uh, 10 Years After, and it really frustrates me because they're really, really good. Alvin Lee, this guy here, is a hugely uh, underappreciated guitar player, songwriter, really good. Um, I've, I've mentioned 10 Years After a lot on my channel. I've almost got their back catalogue, but I feel like I'm a spokesperson for 10 Years After because I feel they are hugely unappreciated. It's a great album, can't stop listening to it. All right, next album we're going to show you is actually a best of compilation. I don't own many compilations or best ofs. I think this might be my only one. Um, I always throw this on when I'm either in the garden doing the gardening or doing the housework or doing a bit, any deep cleaning that I'm doing. I generally put this on, put this one on. It always puts me in the good mood, always helps me getting all my chores and that done a lot more easier and smoother. Um, it's best of, it's got all his hits on there. Is This Love, No Women No Cry, Could You Be Loved, Three Little Birds, Buffalo Soldier, Stir It Up, Jamming. It's got them all on there and so it's such a fun, good listen. It always puts a smile on my face and like I said, helps me get through all my chores just a little bit easier. Thank you, Bob Marley. Right, the next record I'm going to show you is actually the last of the 10 because the next record I'm going to show you after this one is number 11, which ties into my top 10 favourite albums. But anyway, this one I'm going to show you is Black Keys, Thick Freakness. Um, this is the album I generally throw on when there's no one else in the house and I turn it right up and just rock out to it. Um, the Black Keys early stuff, that really early garage rock sound, 
uh, that I love. Um, yeah, it's just one I really grab when I haven't got time to really pick an album. It's one I just quickly throw on and rock out to, I never, which I never get bored of. Really good garage rock guitar album and Black Keys were good. All right, the next record I'm going to show you is is the most listened to album I've ever listened to. This is definitely number one. And this one ties into my next uh, other videos of my other top tens. And this is White Stripes Elephant. This is uh, the first UK press. Um, absolutely adore this album. I, I adored uh, White Stripes when I was younger. This was the, my first, very first album that I really got into. I enjoyed those other albums that you've seen. I've listened to them countless times. But this is the very first album that really grabbed me. It just opens a lot of doors for lots of different genres for me. This got uh, this has got punk in it. It's got grunge in it. It's got blues rock in it. It's just this is my favorite album ever. Adore this album. Adore Jack White. Not so much his solo stuff, but the White Stripes. Fell in love with them as soon as I heard them. I've heard it so many times in the past. I'm going to be probably listening to this uh, to the day I die. Love this album. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss those future videos. Thank you very much.